So we have assembled all the materials that we will use for making our electric bell today. So let me let me first brief you very quickly what materials I'll be using here. This is a plastic board with slotted holes as you see you can see horizontally and vertically. Then we have a few crocodile wires here. Uh, they're called so because they the, the mouth looks like a crocodile. And there's a standard battery, 9 volt battery, the screwdriver with some screws and nuts and bolts that we we'll use to uh, jump it all together. Now this is our bell and this is our clapper. So you know how this will work is that this is going to hit this. That, that's how what we're going to see at the end of the activity. This is the central piece to our activity. This is the uh, solenoid which has an iron core inside with a lot of copper windings. The golden rim that you can see is copper windings. And these are our support holders. So we have three L-shaped brackets also because they hold the shape L and one U-shaped bracket as you can see it's in the shape of U. So let's quickly begin our activity and the first step to do is that we're going to put this U-shaped bracket on our solenoid. So we have the final shape that we need for the uh, solenoid. We have attached the U-shaped bracket as I told you along the uh, width of the solenoid and we have placed an L-shaped bracket right below it. So this L-shaped bracket will act as our holder on the board. Now where do we put it on the board? Leave four holes from one side, leave four from the other and leave one from here. That's it. So on the second row you have to leave four holes from each side and you have the place where you attach the main piece of the solenoid. So the solenoid is attached on the board as you can see here. Our next step is to put the dome on the board. So we have the last slot in the corner so you have to go as far away as possible. Put the long screw here. Now you have to use three screws over here. The first one is going right deep, right at the end of the screw. Our second one stops midway on the long screw. Your next job is to place the dome on top of the screw so that it holds, does not fall and attach the last screw to tighten it up. So we have the structure with the solenoid and the bell on it. Our next step is to make sure that we are able to place the clapper on the board. So for that, our step one needs to take one of the L-shaped brackets. You have a longitudinal slot here. Place the screw on it. Pick the third hole from one end and tighten this up. So after you have placed the L shape, first L shape bracket here, you take the clapper so that the copper side is on the, on, the, on the outer side. Place it on the upper slot in the L shape bracket and put a screw there so that it's fixed at this place. As you can see, the clapper is placed here. So our last piece of the mechanical uh, portion is left. So we have to take the last L-shaped bracket, two slots away, place it from the first L-shaped bracket that you've placed. Screw it up here. Right. So. Our structure, mechanical structure is complete and now we have to complete the electrical part of the bell. What do we do for it? We take our crocodile clips, yes the ones with the crocodile faces. So attach one of the ends of the crocodile wire to our 9 volt battery through a plug head that you have here. 
and put the other end on the solenoid. So you see two slots here on the solenoid. So one on the battery and one on the solenoid. Take your second crocodile wire. You put the other end of the battery here. And sorry, this goes again. And this is attached to the L bracket where you have the clapper attached. That leaves us with one L shaped bracket. So you complete this here and your bell is ready to work. Now how does this work? So bring the last crocodile end to the copper strip on the uh, clapper that you have here. Now it should not be very harsh, see. So what you're supposed to do is take it to the clapper very carefully and you can see your bell work. So you know if you're not doing it like this, if you are pushing it too hard, it will not work. So what you're supposed to do is take it very carefully, very slowly, just have a minimum contact and you can see your electric bell work right so i have placed all the major components that we used in the electric bell on the board here so we have the solenoid we have the battery here we have the clapper and we have the bell now you draw a straight line from the solenoid to the battery that's the first wire then you put a second wire between the battery and the clapper but can you tell me if the circuit is complete it is not right because we can see that a section of the, the circuit is open. So this is an open circuit and the current does not conduct in such a case. So what we do here is we take a third wire from the solenoid and put it on the clapper. This is the point where our circuit is complete. Right? So the moment this happens, now the solenoid starts acting like a magnet. Alright? So we know that the magnets attract ferrous material like such as iron so since our clapper is made of such a material it gets attracted towards the solenoid and when that happens the position of the clapper gets displaced and becomes something like this and so it hits the bell but when that happens you can see here there's a gap here and hence the circuit is not complete and so the clapper falls back to its original position which you can see in black and when that happens the circuit is complete again and the solenoid starts acting like a magnet and so the clapper is attracted towards the magnet and hits the bell again and this motion keeps on happening happening on a repeated basis and that's how our bell works so if you want to test whether your solenoid is working as a magnet you got to take a compass all right and you got to keep it very close to it the moment when the circuit is complete the needle that you see here starts deflecting and that is what tells you that there is magnetism in and around the solenoid right so that is how we uh, that's how the electric bell works I'm pretty sure you know the concept now and can, can apply the same when you make the electric bell of your own thank you